Hey, Jeff Howard here at kiteboarding.com. Man, I'll tell you, I've been spending so much time out there on foils. We got we got foils all foil boards from all over the place. I tell you, we've been we've been learning, we've been figuring out the process of teaching people. I love it, and you can see some of my older other videos about foil boarding, and I hope that they help you out because my goal is to find out why people have having either a hard time learning or what gear and equipment that you could use and the changes as I discover them and put some time into it. And yeah, I may have people out there going, yeah, yeah, whatever, we know, we already know that. Well, I wanna share this because there's a lot of people out there that come into the shop, they start getting into the foil boarding and I love to give them procedure on getting on the water. They come in, they borrow all these beginner ones and they have such a great time following a procedure that I've told them to do and within a good hour or two, they're already up and foiling and feel pretty secure about it. They're not jiving or turning, but. So the thing that I've discovered after spending so much time out there foiling now is the difference. Usually a person is riding a foil. We spend a lot of time on the foils here when the wind is, you know, in the middle teens and lower. It's a very light wind condition because we have a lot of wind. So when we get out of those lighter type conditions, uh, such as Houston or uh, when it gets light here, we're normally pretty windy, other places, uh, California, Florida, whatever it is. Now, I wanna talk about the kite gear. I've discovered a lot of information and I want to tell people why that is. So figuring out the right, correct kite. Now I'm talking about the light wind type conditions first. So. What happens, is it better with a foil Ram Air kite or is it better with an inflatable? I wanna tell you, I have discovered the foils are phenomenal and a lot of people go, why? Why is that made a lot better? What happens with an inflatable is when you, you can pull an inflatable kite beyond its flying point and what I mean is, is the sail starts to flutter back here and flap when you push away on the bar and you depower the kite. When you start foiling and you're getting up there, you don't need a lot of power. So as soon as you get up, you start to push away on the bar a lot because you only pull in to get a little bit of power and pushing away. So what happens is, is when that kite is pulled beyond its flying point, it either is going to fall to the left or the right. And usually it's within the direction that you're heading and you have it off to the side. Soon as you push that kite into deep power because you don't need much power other than getting up, the kite begins to fall to the side. Now in foiling, the bad part is, is you've got all the speed you want. To get this kite to turn and go back up, you've got to power it up, which is gonna be pulling you, turn it, and then you wait for it to get back up to neutral, or close to neutral, and then it can actually cause a falling again if you start getting into the depower. So, foil kites, the Ram Airs, are phenomenal at the foiling, and you will see those guys out there racing with them because of their performance-wise but also when you get right past that learning experience of playing with your inflatables, try a foil. The reason a foil kite works so well is you never pull them beyond their flying point. You change their angle of attack, but they're always flying, which means when you depower a foil kite, Ram Air, they will remain flying and you can also turn them as you have them in depower mode. So instead of it wanting to fall off and fall to the side, a foil kite will basically just sit there and fly and barely move and you can still steer it in the depower mode. It is phenomenal. That's what makes it so much easier. I've been getting out and spending a lot of time on both and the foil kite, I've been taking out the chrono, spending a ton of time on a nine meter and guys are blown away at how light of winds I can fly that thing in and ride in. They're out there on the big inflatables trying to twin tip and everything else. And I'm you're talking eight, nine miles an hour being some of the lowest and I've got a nine meter foil. The kite just wants to sit there and they're so stable nowadays to get them to fall is almost impossible. So all I've got to do is get up on the board, bring the kite up and it'll just sit there and be real stable. It is a really cool feeling. If you've been out there foiling and you're using inflatables in these lower type conditions, get a chance to try a foil. They are awesome. It makes the experience a lot nicer. Now, I've got some people saying, oh, no way, I ride out there in higher type winds and I have this little small kite. I understand that. I've been over to Maui, I've been in some high wind conditions, and some of the smaller inflatables are really cool. They're getting very, very popular for the foiling because that's high winds. The difference is, is 
you can keep you can depower a smaller kite much faster than you can the big kites for the low winds so they do work they do work fantastically some of the non strut kites some of the single strut kites it's it's amazing how little power that you actually need once you're foiling but the smaller inflatables you can change your angle of attack and they still steer without giving you a huge jump of pull which is what you don't want in foiling Anyway, I wanted to share that little bit with you. If you're out there falling and you're learning how to do it and you're getting it figured out and you're, you're figuring out this frustration of your kite continuing to fall and you're trying to catch it while you're falling, try a Ram Air kite. They are phenomenal. Look around, you're probably talking a nine meter, 12 meter. Um, if it's as lightest I'll ever need, the biggest I would personally ever need would be a 12. But Right now I'm on a 9 meter and there haven't been conditions I have not been able to go out in down in those single digits. It's been amazing. Anyway, that's Jeff Howard here at KiteBoarding.com to share a little bit of information. So hopefully you'll get out there and enjoy that foil boarding just as much as we do.